Good morning, everybody. This morning, I woke up so early at five in the morning to meet sunrise. And I am driving to uh, my dream place. I'm going to the Alps to see marmots. And it's very early, it's still around three hours driving. And I really hope to see marmots up there. Before exploring further, subscribe to my channel where I publish regular videos about travel and wildlife around the world. I'm having my breakfast before going up to mountains to see marmots. It's impressive, honestly. I've been driving up to the mountains and I was so mesmerized by the views. And this is my real nice breakfast before going up. It's 9 a.m. I am the only one here and I can hear bird tweets everywhere. And it's as you can see, it's quite freezing. I am cold. It's around 15 degrees now. And uh, yeah, we are in the Alps and uh, you can imagine that I feel quite chilly after hot jungles of Thailand. In my previous video about France, I showed you French forests with their diverse ecosystem and wildlife. Don't miss it out. Click the link above. I'll see you in the Alps. In the morning, when the sun's dozing in, dozing in the fog, the fog that slowly crawled this morning in the Alps. In this video, you will see some breathtaking alpine landscapes together with some wildlife and hopefully marmots. Let's see if we can find them. So, the marmots are hiding somewhere there in these hills. And it's a pure chance of luck if you can spot some of them. But I'm trying my best. This colorful creature is a male ladybird spider. He already changed this glorious red abdomen with black spots, showing he is ready to breed. He may bite you when threatened, but without any serious effects. After some searching efforts, I found a marmot burrow. Is he there? Not yet. But it's a sign that marmots are somewhere nearby to find. I am resting a little bit. After a tough hike, the goal is to go to the top of that mountain. And I've done half of it. And I was carrying a heavy camera at the same time trying to film marmots and uh, cows and everything around and beautiful landscapes and you know climbing up high is a bit hard, tough so just resting a little bit and continuing climbing up to show beautiful views of the French Alps and some birds that I spot on the way like this missile thrush he's large aggressive and and powerful. He stands boldly upright and bounds across the ground. It 
if you listened carefully throughout my video, you may have heard these sounds made by this crow-like red bill too. These wild berries grow on the side of the mountain by themselves. Like many wild berries in France, they can be safely picked and eaten. This is real wild raspberry. This here found uh, in the Alps. And these are real berries of raspberry. Wow. And uh, even little like this tastes so, so good. Amazing. What I usually find in supermarkets, I find here in Rio for free. the conqueror of Mont Blanc. I found champignons. my back there are French Alps. In fact, this is just the beginning of the Alps mountainous range on the west. This part of the Alps is called Bac de Zican. As you can see, some mountains up there are quite high, more than 4,000 meters. And snow up there doesn't melt. It stays there all the time. The park has more than a hundred peaks above 300 meters and about 40 glaciers with a total area of 17,000 hectares. Three peaks have a height of over 4,000 meters above sea level. The most common representatives of the animal world are of course alpine marmots, golden eagles, and chamois or goats. The national park was founded in 1973, becoming the fifth national park of France. Today, it attracts up to 800,000 tourists annually. The park has been awarded the European Diploma of Protected Areas. The park has 740 kilometers of regularly maintained trails and about 30 shelters. From hiking to mountaineering or paragliding, there is a good reason the park lures millions of visitors each year. I found marmots! I found marmots! Even though some people might think that finding marmots in the Alps is a very easy task to do, but actually no. It's very difficult to spot marmots in the wild, especially when they are hiding in their burrows. Because adult marmots are always on guard, and at the slightest danger, they give a signal to their relatives with a typical shrill squeak. They are very alert and have excellent hearing. And in case of any danger, they immediately hide in their burrows. 
when I finally reached to the top of the mountain, I saw many marmot families. Marmots are in fact large ground squirrels. Marmots are the heaviest members of the squirrel family. They are burrowing rodents, so they can be found in burrows and rocky mountain slopes and hillsides. Honestly, I was so lucky to find them. Despite their name, marmots do not murmur. Their name originates from the old High German word murmunta, which comes from the Latin mors montes or mountain mouse. Honestly, I have no words to describe how happy I am to find so many marmots in these French Alps. So many marmots up here, so many big and small families of marmots running, playing, amazing. And they are already quite fat for winter. Have a look. Marmots live in family groups consisting of a parental breeding pair and many of their offspring, usually 15 to 20 individuals. Young are very playful and all ages engage in nose-to-nose -nose greetings. They care for each other by grooming. Despite their relatively small size and cute looks, they can be pretty aggressive if threatened. Marmots spend most of their time underground, but when they leave their burrows, they play and eat a lot. They mainly feed on grasses and herbs. For winter months, they build branch tunnels with escape tubes and then hibernate in their burrows for seven to nine months. I'm really happy to see by myself and show you in my video. You know that I'm a passionate nature and animal lover. In my videos, I'm trying to show you best of the best of nature and wildlife. So let's have a look. Honestly, when I'm united with nature, in these moments, like this one, now, I feel the happiest in my life. And I'm thankful for this chance, for this opportunity to share this beauty with you through my videos, that we both can enjoy it, that you can see this too.
the end of my trip to the French Alps and also to my video. I hiked up on the top of that mountain. Then I walked all around here to come here. Honestly, I didn't expect from myself that I would be able to hike that much. So altogether, maybe 16 kilometers for today. Really impressive when I look back what I've done today. And uh, I didn't expect to find so many marmots. I was already so happy you saw to find only one. But in fact, in this mountainous area, I found dozens of them living in little burrows and uh, staying on guard like that. It was an amazing trip here. I really recreated with my soul and also with my buddy. And if you like marmots, that I showed you in this video and beautiful nature of these uh, French Alps. I appreciate if you put me a thumb up and share this video with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe my channel Nathalie's World for more amazing wildlife and travel videos. And I see you in my next episode about France. Bye bye!